What's good, y'all? I'm Jackie. I'm Preston. And um, we're engaged. We are. I'm oh, sorry, I missed that. No, that won't work. Oh, you want to say the other? Oh, uh, I didn't know. What do you propose to me? Some of you may know I proposed to this lovely young lady. And I am lovely. <laughs> a couple of a couple of weeks ago at the Rhetoric 2013, um, I did a poem about our relationship, uh, and I proposed at the end. Everybody went crazy, started throwing confetti, Carl Willing. Quite stressful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I believe that there's a beautiful covenant waiting for us on the other side of this relationship. Yeah, man, so we just uh, doing a video to update y'all on some things. Um, our lives, the engagement, the proposal, that whole little process, shindig, you dig. So, um, I met Jackie, was it 2010? 2009? I was 20, so 2009. 2009 at the second Lyricist Lounge. So, for all y'all who don't know the, the Lyricist Lounge, rhetoric is what the Lyricist Lounge used to be. Um, it was in LA, um, 2010. Um, I did a poem called Soul Ties, where I just talked about how it was just extra lustful. Enough because this useful lust got me out of touch with the one I need to feel the most. Lord, me and her was never supposed, supposed to be, be close. close enough to be one like you and your son. So if you gotta break us to break us up, let your will be done because enough, enough is enough. enough. And she did a poem called My Life Is an Ex Stud. So literally, the first time I saw Jackie, she was on the stage doing that poem, talking about how. I loved women, but God loved me more. I remember the first time I kissed her lips. As my heart began to flip all, more convictions beginning to rip, I grabbed the hips and kissed the bottom lips because I always wanted to try it. And now she loves me. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I met her that, that day. Um, her poetry just completely blew my mind. Um, I think we kicked it the next day uh, at a poetry workshop. Uh, we exchanged numbers, and man, we was like two peas in a pod ever since. She was and I wouldn't even stun this dude. Like, I just was like, he cool. Like, I don't know why you want my number. I ain't really like people there, so I ain't really understand why you wanted to talk to me on the phone. You would stun me a little bit. Nah. Your poetry was cool. <laughs> <laughs> but just you, I wasn't tripping off nobody. I wasn't tripping off nobody. I was safe for a year, so, you know, chilling. I thought she was cute, you know what I'm saying? But like, I thought her poetry was dope. Um, and yeah, man, we just kind of like went from there. We just started off as friends, and we actually stayed friends for a long time. I think it was like three years. We were just friends. We never really looked at each other uh, in a romantic type of way. Um, but eventually, God just began to do a work in our hearts. Um, I think Jackie can tell you about that. Um, for me, I started to feel this attraction towards Preston maybe two or three years into the relationship. I started to feel this attraction towards him, and I thought I was just being thirsty. Like, why do I feel this way? I must just be really bored. That's all it is. And I was going to my disciple about it, my friends about it, and I just was consistently praying because I, um, I didn't want this affection I was feeling towards him to influence how I interacted with him. Um, and so I just finally went to the Lord one day and was like, you know what, God, this don't seem to be going away. It's just like a, like a rash. So I just asked. She straight called me a rash. The affection was like a rash. It's just like I'm itching. I'm not even itching it. Okay. It just won't leave. <laughs> so I prayed and I said, God, I don't know what your will is for me and Preston Perry because we had never flirted with each other, nothing like that. Nothing. I was like, but if it's your will it's for crazy. us to be together, so be it. But if it's your will for us to be friends, so be it. But give me the patience and help me be led by the spirit and how I interact with him and that I'll treat him like a brother and not somebody I have a crush on. And lo and behold, I get the call a week later saying, like, Jackie, I need to talk to you about something. <laughs> Yo, so I called her, right? The Lord was on my heart for like, I kid you not, like a month straight. Like, man, you gotta tell Jackie 
how you feel. And I'm like, no, you don't know Jackie. Like, I'm telling the Lord she don't know, he don't know Jackie, right? <laughs> like, she's either going to laugh in my face like a, like, a, like I'm an idiot, yeah. right? Or uh, it's going to make our relationship, like, really awkward. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm like, man, God, like, I, I, don't, I don't know about this. So, like, literally, I just, like, prayed about it for, like, a good month and a half. I finally just built up the guts to, like, you know, like. You just some guts, boy. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to call or whatever um, and I did and like like normally I'm not even like scared of rejection but like she was like a really close friend like she's like one of my best friends at the time um, and I was just like man I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and when I did it called her told her how I felt told her how I felt like the Lord is really just like showing me like just how beautiful she was as a, as a woman of God um, and she told me she was like yeah like that's crazy like when you told me you needed to talk, I knew you was going to say that because I've been liking you for like a year now. Um, but I, I didn't really know how to tell you. I didn't know if I should tell you. And then, I didn't think it was my place to tell him as a woman. It's like if God has put it in a man to pursue a woman, then it needs to be God leading this man to pursue me absent from my influence. Yeah, and, and to be honest with you, I thought that was the tightest thing. Like, like I thought that was the tightest thing and it really impressed me. Like, when I told her, she went... Like, I thought she was joking when she was like, yeah, I've been liking you for a year now. And I'm just like, what? Because I never had any indication that she liked me. Like, not even one hint. So I thought that was dope. And it just kind of just confirmed so many things uh, that I was feeling in my heart towards Jackie. Like, man, this woman is the real deal. Uh, so, yeah, when I pursued her, um, and here we are. Right. A year and a half later, engaged. <laughs> and so, you're probably wondering... What does that have to do with me? I know you are saints, but it's okay. We're going to inform you. Inform me, Jackie. What this has to do with you is we love Jesus, one. Hallelujah. Two, plan on getting married, trying to, you know, display the mystery as in Ephesians 5. You should probably read it. Um, and all of that type of stuff. But there's some difficulty to this issue. This difficulty is that we're broke. Broke. Starving artists. Don't get it twisted. You may see us traveling, but we're broke. You really appreciate if everyone who's followed us, follow my testimony, follow Preston's testimony, um, who just really has seen God's glory um, in choosing two sinful human beings and desiring to put them together to glorify himself even more. Um, we would just really ask if everybody could just help us in this process to pay for the wedding we would really appreciate you. So, if everyone could help us with just five dollars. Just five dollars. Like, instead of like eating like uh, number five from McDonald's that day, just be like, you know what, I'm gonna donate to Preston and Jackie because like, you know, they love the Lord and I love the Lord and I wanna see the glory, the glory of the Lord revealed in their life. It's like one grande, tall, caramel macchiato upside down. That's really all it is. That's it's all just, it is. That's just one of those. Straight or down. a five dollar right. footlong. Five dollar footlong is bang it though. It's not better than Quiznos. It ain't. Quiznos hot. <laughs> 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 yeah. So if you could just help us out, like five dollars. Now, I'm not saying you have to get five dollars. The Lord leading in your heart to give more, give more. But if you could just help us out, whatever, whatever you can. Um, Particularly five dollars though. <laughs> That'd be real good, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, like I said, marriages, um, not marriages, but weddings are not, you know what I'm saying, um, cheap by any means. Uh, yeah, she wants a really nice, nice wedding. I want a and, really nice wedding. And not even necessarily a bougie wedding. Just wedding with good food. You right, know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I'm looking at these prices, they're like forty one dollars a head, thirty five dollars a head for right. how many people and then we in Chicago. Yeah, so like 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 we said, man, we thank y'all for like even tuning in, watching. Um, yeah, we really appreciate you even watching this video and just going on this journey with me and Jackie. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the proposal video. Everyone who's follows me on Instagram, all of that type of stuff, man, I really appreciate y'all. We just implore that you would just continue to pray for us in this process. Um, just continue to lift us up to the Lord. We are by no means perfect human beings, but we're trying to serve a perfect God. Amen. Straight up and down. Peace up. Shot Town Sideways. St. Louis. Shot Town Sideways. St. Louis. Okay. You live in Chicago, though. But I'm from St. Louis.
Y'all asked for it and here it is. Preston and Jackie agreed to let us follow their journey on the way to the altar. They're holding up their lives as an example of what it means to be dating, engaged, and get married in this current culture. In future videos, they're gonna discuss everything from the goo goo eyes and butterflies and what happens when all that stuff wears off. They'll hit the topics of premarital counseling and purity, as well as discuss the excitement as well as stresses of wedding planning. And most importantly, you'll get to see the joy of two Christians in a relationship together. If you have any questions you wanted to answer specifically, put them in the comments section if you're watching this video on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. Or just send them to us on our contact form at p4cm.com. And if God lays it on your heart, we definitely encourage you to give to help them raise funds for their wedding. This way, more people, including family and friends, will get to come see their wedding and hear the gospel as well as see it on display. And with your help, they won't have to work 10 jobs to pay for the wedding. It'll give them a break from their very busy ministry travel schedule. That'll allow them to enjoy the wedding planning process as well as spend a few months bonding after they get married. Give what you can as the Lord leads. And if you wanna follow Preston and Jackie, you can check them out on Twitter. If you wanna shout them out about the wedding, use the hashtag PJPerryWedding. And as far as P4CM, you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you forget all that, just check us out at p4cm.com. Yo, who is this girl? <laughs> and how did she just melt my face off? I never told you. <laughs>